Hey everyone, hopefully your Saturday is going great. The weather is looking great this entire weekend, but it is going to be very warm. If you thought yesterday was hot, Today, much of the same. Tomorrow, we'll do this again. Hot and dry weather expected all weekend, but we'll see plenty of sunshine on your Saturday. Temperatures soaring right into the mid 90s this afternoon. Make sure you stay cool. Drink plenty of water. There's a lot of stuff going on outdoors. Make sure you dress lightly. Try not to overdo it today. Into the evening hours, we'll continue to see mostly clear skies. Temperatures will stay in the 80s through later tonight, so it will feel a little better as the sun comes down, but it will feel a little humid as we head into this evening. Today would be a great day to spend at the pool, but don't forget the sunscreen. Our UV index is going to be in that extreme range, meaning you can get a sunburn in about 10 minutes, so that's pretty quick. Don't forget the sunscreen, maybe some sun umbrellas, hats, sunglasses, all that. All that is definitely a must today. Sunny skies, mid 90s for your afternoon highs. Same forecast for tomorrow. This morning, we started the morning actually really pleasant on the North Shore and in South Mississippi. We had lower dew points there, so it felt a little less humid the more north you were today. So that will be the trend on your Saturday. Might feel a tad less humid on the North Shore and South Mississippi for your Saturday. South Shore, maybe not as oppressively humid. The reason why we're seeing this drier air work in from the Northeast. We've got drier air in the upper levels of the atmosphere, so that's good. It's not going to be terribly muggy today. It's just today, though. It starts to change up tomorrow, starting to feel a little bit more humid area wide on Sunday. So enjoy the slightly more comfortable feel, I guess, today, but it's still going to be really hot. Here are our high temperatures across the entire area. Middle 90s, basically everywhere except the immediate coast will be in the 80s right along the coastline. 88 for Bay St. Louis, 84 in Grand Island, 86 Port Fouchon, 90s elsewhere, maybe even 97 in Baton Rouge, 95 in Hammond and Covington, 94 for Slidell and the airport in Kenner, 96 in Picayune, and 93 in Belle Chase. Still, dew points in the 70s on the South Shore will make it feel like around 100 degrees this afternoon. So even though it's not going to be oppressively muggy, it can still bring us a heat index in the triple digits today. Definitely. Take it easy outside. If you have to be outside for long periods of time, maybe you have to work today. Try to find some shade, get some AC. Definitely stay hydrated today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, here's our forecast. Plenty of sunshine, a few passing clouds. Temperatures back in the low to mid 90s. Mostly dry tomorrow and feeling a bit more muggy area wide. Again, feels like temperatures tomorrow around 100 degrees in the afternoon. We stay dry for your weekend, which is nice for outdoor plans. Our rain chances do come back for the work week. Monday actually looks mostly dry. Only have a 10% chance for a stray shower or storm Monday. So Monday not expecting much. It's not until Tuesday and then Wednesday and Thursday. So the midweek time frame we will start to see the return of scattered showers and storms as this upper trough moves across the country, sends us a weak front bumps up our rain chances and then next Friday into the following weekend. So one week from now, basically we'll be watching the tropics. Maybe that could bump up our rain chances, but nothing too alarming. This is something we've been watching the last several days. So if you've been tuning in, you already know about this. There are no tropical developments expected over the next seven days. There's nothing being highlighted by the National Hurricane Center officially. We're just watching this swirl of moisture in the Caribbean Sea, and this is common this time of year. Early in hurricane season, early in June, you get this swirl of moisture called the Central American Gyre, and from that you can get some slugs of moisture that move northward, and sometimes you can get a tropical system spawning out of it. We'll see if that happens. We've got many days to watch this right now. It's just this disorganized area of showers and storms right in the Caribbean and then going into the next several days. That upper trough I just was mentioning is going to drag this moisture northward, especially towards South Florida this week and then up into the eastern Gulf Coast. This is on Thursday. This is when maybe we can see an area of low pressure developing out of this really just looks like an, a rainmaker. So enhanced rainfall is expected for Florida this week, especially South Florida, but even into the panhandle. But South Florida actually could use some rain. They have been pretty dry lately, so this is not terrible, but they'll probably deal with maybe some flooding with this. Getting into later next week into next weekend, one week from now, June 15th, we'll continue to monitor that area of moisture. If it continues to track along the Gulf Coast, can we get an area of low pressure from that? And if so, if it continues to push west, this could probably bump up our rain chances, I would say, by next Friday and next weekend. 
but rainfall totals over the next seven days really focused across the Florida Peninsula, but also through the Big Bend in the Panhandle. They'll be seeing some heavier rain in South Florida. Again, not a terrible thing for them since they have been dealing with such dry weather, such dry conditions. They've got some drought uh, conditions down in South Florida. So some beneficial rain from them, but it could be a good soaker for them. Also, we'll be watching again rain totals for next weekend more so. So late next week into next weekend, we'll see about our rain totals. That's basically what we have coming our way. Higher rain chances as a result of this thing. So here's a recap of what's going on with the tropics next week. A slug of moisture, a moisture surge is coming in from the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty common this time of year. Nothing to go crazy about. More rain is expected for the Gulf Coast, especially for Florida. But we could possibly see more rain here locally in southeastern Louisiana and South Mississippi next Friday and next weekend especially. But there are a lot of days between now and then and the model runs will probably keep changing, but the consensus is something is coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Could just be more rain, which is something we can certainly handle. <laughs> Seven day forecast for you. Sunshine today and tomorrow. Plenty of it. Mid 90s for our high temperatures as well. Even low 90s again Monday. So we're getting into a hot, dry stretch this weekend, even into Monday, and then our rain chances return next week. Scattered showers and storms Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the hit or miss variety, but we'll get some cooling showers back and temperatures won't be as sweltering. I guess by then we will be in the upper 80s near 90 with maybe some higher rain chances by next Friday through next weekend. Thanks for tuning in to the WWL Louisiana digital stream. We'll be here for the WWL Louisiana news this evening.